Hi, today we're going to be talking about the material browser for Radeon Pro Render. Okay, so all these objects on the bike have no materials on them, so we're going to want to apply them. Um, they're all grouped according to what material should go onto them, so all I have to do is select one object and press up and that is selected. Before we do that though, we have to go and get our material. So on our Radium Pro Render shelf, navigate to your XML import button, hit the button and you'll see this nice browser pops up. If you look down the side here, we have a whole bunch of different materials that we can choose from or categories. Inside of them are a few materials that you can use. Um, we're going to look for paint or car paint. And right here, I want this car paint pearlescent. So I will import and just minimize that for now and then go to my hypershade and you can either display the hypershade through the main toolbar or go down to the radio and program shelf and hit this button right there and there we go I'm just going to clean up the hypershade and find the car paint blend material that we've just imported so we can select our object in the scene and press up and we've got all our painted all our objects that need the paint the car paint material and right click over the material in the hypershade and assign material to selection okay then we're going to want to add some stainless steel to the metal. So go to our, to our material browser again and look for our metals. And I think the stainless steel is going to work nicely. And we can import that. Okay, so what you'll notice is that it's also placed it in our workspace, but this can get a bit jumbled up, so all you have to do is rearrange the graph with this button here. Okay. Go ahead and select the engine, press the up arrow key to get all the groups, and assign. Right click and assign material. You can also middle mouse click and drag onto the selected objects but it's an either or method then we can go to our renderer and hit this little cutter toolbar so we can get this toolbar in our viewport so that we can quickly switch between viewport 2 and Radeon Pro Render hit the Radeon Pro Render renderer and let me just frame this up a bit and also I want to remove the depth of field so select your, your camera by pressing this button go to the camera shape, scroll down to depth of field and just untick that. Now we want to zoom in a little bit and we can hit Radeon Pro Render again. so it's cleaning up nicely what you want to do is maybe change the color of this pearlescent so let's go and open our hypershade again and we have our stainless steel in the workspace we'll just clean our workspace up go and find our car paint middle click and drag it into our workspace 
Now you'll see that it's just showing you your material. All you have to do is click the view import inputs and output connections. Okay. So for color zero, which is the color info, we are going to just change the purple to an orange. Or actually a deeper, uh, quite a darker red, I think. Okay. That wasn't the color. Then we can hit this material again, go back to our red and make this a lighter orange. So we'll just select that color and maybe pull it out. So these materials are quite easy to manipulate and to get what you want. We have our reflection. Oops. And that's also plugged into the material. We could make this more reflection more reflective or less reflective. Right now it's got a Fresnel plugged into it and what you can do is just select this input and press the delete key if you wanted to get rid of it. And that's a quick look at the Radeon Pro Renders Material Browser.